I feel like when I wear my glasses, there's too much of a reflection. So I'm gonna take my glasses off today. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ashanti and I put out videos every week. If you are returning, thank you for returning. Uh, I like to talk about mostly bags on this channel, but I do sometimes put out videos uh, talking about other topics, about getting older and about clothes, sometimes makeup. Haven't put one of those out in a long time, but I really, really do love fashion in general and just um, talking about experience, life experience. So if you like those kinds of things, then please subscribe to my channel. Today's video uh, I have been waiting to make. Uh, I am uh, glad to be making this video today and it is going to be the comparison between the pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram or monogram reverse canvas versus the pochette Matisse in the empreinte leather. This is in the beautiful navy, which I recently received. Uh, and I wanted to do a comparison between the two. So if you are interested in learning more about which one to choose, if you were choosing between the two, then keep watching. All right, if you have been watching my channel, you know recently that I have picked up the gorgeous navy pochette Matisse in the empreinte leather. I am very much loving this. Uh, very happy to have this in my collection. The navy uh, is a new color that came out. They did have a navy color that they had in the past, but it had the red glazing on it. Uh, I decided to pass on that and just wait until uh, I got my hands on the color that I was looking for. I contemplated getting black for a very, very long time, almost pulled the trigger on multiple occasions and then decided not to pull the trigger. <laughs> and in the meantime, they came out with this gorgeous navy, which uh, if you've been following me for some time, blue is my favorite color. When I was a child, purple was my favorite color. And then as an adult, blue became my favorite color. I have actually have a lot of blue incorporated in the house that I am living in uh, because it's just my favorite color. And I like all kinds of shades of blue for the most part. Uh, so anyway, when I saw the navy come out recently, I had to snag it, to be honest with you. If, uh, if money wasn't a thing, I'd probably grab a lot more items from the Louis Vuitton nautical collection because I just love it so much. Uh, but anyway, I did grab the beautiful uh, pochette Matisse and uh, as you guys know, the Pachette Matisse is, has become a staple in the Louis Vuitton classic lineup, basically. Uh, <laughs> when it first came out, I actually, it came out in a hobo style, the Pochette hobo or the Matisse hobo, and then it also came out in this style, which is more kind of like a, school boy, classic conservative type of bag, in my opinion. Uh, and I, as, as soon as the bag actually came out back in the day, uh, I picked up the hobo, which I loved, uh, but it was, I don't know, it was very long. Uh, and it had the the same clasp kind of in the front, if I remember correctly. And I don't know, there was something about it that I just couldn't, I don't know. I, I just didn't end up loving it, but that was the first one that I picked. And then I knew I would get my hands on the Pochette Matisse uh, later. I knew that was going to be my next bag, which it basically was. I ended up 
buying that bag, but I did sell it because there were so many issues with glazing at the time and I just didn't want to deal with any glazing issues. Uh, and so I decided to sell it pretty much out of steel at that point. So I got rid of it and it is the only bag in my collection that I have sold and repurchased. Usually when I sell things, I don't buy them back because I sell them for a reason. Uh, but the Pochette Matisse, I loved so much. The only reason I didn't wear it is because of that glazing. So I ended up back in 2022 adding it back into my collection when there were rumors of them discontinuing the uh, canvas versions. Uh, I had heard that they were going to discontinue the reverse monogram and I really wanted to pick this up. When this first came out, I absolutely hated it. I hated the color. I thought it looked like baby poop. And obviously I've gotten over that because I absolutely adore this now. I love that um, there's no vachetta on it. I don't have to worry about the vachetta getting dark or rain spots or anything like that. So I really love that this is basically completely carefree. The original one that I bought was uh, a uh, monogram canvas. I still do love the monogram canvas. Do not get me wrong. Uh, I love it, but I really wanted to have something a little bit different. This is the first reverse bag that I have in my collection. So uh, I wanted to get it in this and yeah, I bought this, I snagged it and I again fell in love with the functionality, how much you can carry in this bag uh, without it being too huge. When you wear it crossbody, I love that it doesn't, it's not so wide uh, on your body and it just, for me, it fits like right on my hip because I wear it kind of shorter and I just love the way it feels on my body. So loving the uh, Pochette Matisse. <laughs> I'm just loving the Pochette Matisse. So anyway, that's the history of what's been happening in my collection. So I would like to just do a comparison on the two versions that I have for those of you who are maybe thinking about adding another one to co your collection or maybe trying to decide between the two. Uh, I wanted to do a comparison video, so let's get to it. So let's talk about design and construction of uh, both bags. Let's start with the beautiful canvas pochette Matisse in reverse monogram. As you know, this is a coated canvas. The only leather bits on this beautiful piece of artwork is over here. You have leather here. You have leather on the sides. You have the leather handle. And that's really all that you have of the leather. Everything else is the coated canvas. You have beautiful gold hardware. This, uh, hardware is very reminiscent of the trunks that they make, um, which is one of the reasons why I love this bag so much. I just love this particular clasp. Some people absolutely hate it, but I love it. This has gold hardware uh, on the outside. Uh, and so that's what you have there on the inside. Okay, so I have this kind of stuffed. Good. This is the... That's the strap. On the inside, you have a black microfiber. The construction of both are exactly the same in terms of the inside compartments. There is no difference. I have a receipt back in there that I need to take out. But yes, the inside is this beautiful a black microfiber. All right, so let's talk about the navy. Emprunt. As you can see, the entire the entire bag is made of leather. There are no canvas parts, although hmm, that might have been kind of interesting to put a little canvas on here. But it is a fully leather. 
uh, all parts on the outside look like they are leather. Same gold hardware. I still have the protective plastic on it. I haven't pulled that off. Uh, but yes, you have gold hardware. The difference on this particular one is that it has a leather pull on the zipper. If you see here, I do not have a leather pull on the zipper. Fun fact for you, when I first purchased my Pochette Matisse in Monogram, I did have a leather pull. That is something that they removed on the canvas version. This bag right now is kind of heavy because it is packed with my stuff in it. The inside of this bag is cotton lined. All right, so it's got that uh, similar cotton lining that you would find in the classic Neverfull. So it's got, it's, it's blue with black stripes on it, very reminiscent of and really the same as the Neverfull interior. The functionality of the bag is exactly the same. The organization is exactly the same. So that is a tour of the inside and the outside of the Pochette Matisse. The canvas version comes with a reverse strap. It is reverse on both sides. It is removable and adjustable. The leather has the leather strap, which is also removable and adjustable. Some of you might be wondering which one is more durable. So durability, which one wins? Well, it really depends on you. <laughs> canvas is very durable. It is, this is a coated canvas, and because I even have the uh, black coated leather on here. Uh, I don't have an issue obviously with the uh, raw vachetta leather. So in terms of durability and the rain and the snow, if this is going to take it. I know that canvas cracks in certain climates, so it's important that you keep your bags in a good temperature controlled uh, place. Uh, leather. So leather is also very durable material. Uh, you know, it's uh, different than canvas, obviously, um, and it also needs to be taken care of, right? Leather can dry out, I would imagine. I have a lot more canvas pieces of Louis Vuitton than I do leather. Okay, so what are the issues that you could have with leather? Well, I know that leather can dry out. I've not had this happen except for a, uh, except for a piece that I bought resale. Uh, it has raw vachetta, and I have seen the raw vachetta actually get dry. Uh, and I think the raw is probably more prone to drying than this is. Uh, so, I mean, in, in, in terms of durability, these guys are both durable. All right, so let's talk about weight differences. I emptied this bag. This bag is already empty and I weighed it without the straps. The canvas bag's weight is coming out as one pound, 2.5 ounces. The leather bag is coming out as one pound, 4.4 ounces. So the leather, as expected, is slightly heavier than the canvas. For those of you who may or may not have an issue with weight, that is probably going to make uh, you know a difference in what you choose to wear. Uh, I this bag right now is heavy. I have a lot of stuff in it. I don't need to be carrying around this many things, but I do have a lot of things in it right now, and it is kind of heavy. Uh, the canvas, of course, it's one of the reasons I like Louis Vuitton. I'm really not interested in carrying really heavy things uh, anymore, and especially when I'm around town, uh, it's not really important for me to carry all those heavy things. But this is, right now, this is a good size, or this is a good weight right now. Um, but it really depends on what you carry inside your bag. All right, so let's talk about aesthetic appeal. <laughs> Which one do you like more? As you guys have heard, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, who's to say which one is prettier it really kind of or which one suits your lifestyle more? It's really based on your preferences. Uh, monogram 
in my opinion, is kind of a neutral tone. Uh, it pr pretty much goes with everything. Uh, definitely more loud than the Emprunt. The Emprunt, you know, you can see that it's Louis Vuitton um, because of the imprint, the beautiful imprint on it, uh, but it's more quiet for sure. It's one solid color, whereas this is two separate monogram colors. Uh, and so it really kind of depends on what you're wearing. Uh, I think canvas can look more casual in this bag, I would say. It does look more casual, although I could probably put a gold chain on here and make it more dressy. But I feel like the Emprunt comes out a little bit more dressy, in my opinion, if you wanted to dress it up. Uh, the navy and the blue look absolutely gorgeous together. Uh, and so it really kind of just depends on your wardrobe, what you're looking for. I know the huge trend uh, last year was quiet luxury, so all this monogram stuff was kind of uh, taking a back seat. But in my closet, I like both. I like to be loud when I want to be loud, and I like to be quiet when I want to be quiet. So uh, it's it would be very, very difficult for me to pick between the two in terms of which I like better from an aesthetic standpoint. I feel like I have both of them in my collection for a specific reason. All right, so the final thing I wanted to talk about is what would I pick if I only had to pick one, what would be my choice? That is a hard decision for me, uh, but I would actually pick the canvas over the navy, and the reason that I would do that is because every designer has leather navy bags, and because navy is one of my favorite colors. Um, I feel like I could probably replace this bag with maybe like a Chanel or something. I, I, I could get another leather bag that has beautiful gold hardware. And so for me, if I only had to pick one, I would pick, I would pick the monogram. Uh, and that's what I would go with. Now, I do not have to pick one, I have both. And so I'm happy to have both in my collection. Uh, I adore the functionality of this bag. I adore the way it looks. I think it's really chic. I think it can look really elegant. Uh, I think you could wear it with a suit. You could wear it with a dress. You could wear it with shorts. Uh, it can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. And so I just really like the versatility. I absolutely love the organization in here. I currently have all my stuff in here right now. So I will open this up. So it has a slip pocket in the back. It has a big compartment in the middle and it has a compartment in the front. And so I love the organization on the inside. And my most favorite part of this is that there is a pocket on the back, which is usable for my phone. This is a huge convenience for me. Uh, when I have this on my you know, body, uh, I can easily get my phone in and out and be hands-free completely. I know a lot of people carry their phones around in their hands. Uh, sometimes that's okay, but on most occasions, if I can put my phone away, I will, and that is a great place to always put it in and get it out of, so it's very convenient for me that way. So that is one of the reasons why I really love the functionality and the beauty of the Pochette Matisse. Uh, it is definitely one of the classics that will remain in my collection along with my Speedies and my Neverfulls. Like I said, the Pochette Matisse has quickly become a classic bag for Louis Vuitton, and I'm very, very happy to have it in my collection. I hope this video was helpful for you all. Uh, I enjoyed making it. I love talking about my bags, and I love sharing with you guys why I like my bags, and uh, I hope to continue doing that. Thank you for watching today. Uh, I hope you have a fabulous week, and I will talk to you next week. Thank you.
Tchau!